What's good, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Lotus Lost Accord, the Never Knows Best, bringing you some more Dragon Ball Fighters matches and bringing you post commentary coverage of my latest City of Mayhem run. Now, that being said, these matches were a week old. I just hadn't gotten around to doing the post comp for them yet. That being said, uh, comm was actually again today, but I may or may not have woken up at 9 o'clock just in time to watch the Golden State Warriors versus Mavericks game. Um, playoffs have been great, even though the Grizzlies lost 4-2. It's, it's fine. Celtics are doing great, by the way, which is really dope to see because they're a really fun young team to watch. I'm actually having a great time, and I want to see them make it to the finals. Ideally, I'm not going to lie, I, I like Golden State. I like Steph and Clay and all those guys. Uh... Obviously, they, they got a, a, an incredibly improved player in Jordan Poole, who arguably should have won the most improved player of the, of the year uh, over John Moran, but that's a whole debate in and of itself. But um, it'd be really, really cool to see Dallas and Boston in the finals, which I don't think will happen, but that'd be really dope to me and the most fun uh, because you have two... First of all, you'd have... Uh, a team winning well i mean boston has a bunch of championships but you'd have a team winning it guaranteed that hasn't in a while but also um you'd have basically two really young players coming into their own solidifying themselves as superstars and as one of the best players in the entire league which i think most people regard jason tatum and, and luka Doncic as superstars or, or close to that level luka Doncic for sure some guys that you know feel like tatum still has a bit left to, to prove and obviously he came up a bit short uh, in game one against the Heat, he had a phenomenal first half and not that great of a second half. Um, in fact, a, a pretty bad second half. But he's, he's definitely had some really shining moments in these playoffs and even had a couple of games, not, not the entire series, but a couple of games where I would say he even outplayed Giannis. So it, it, was, it was a really dope series against Milwaukee. And seeing either him or Luka get a ring would be really, really dope. IMO. And I'm not necessarily the biggest Luka fan because even though I think he's phenomenal and definitely is the best young player in the league right now and is just one of the best players in the league in general. Um, he's one of those guys that like I, he's constantly flopping and it's just annoying for me to watch and he's just like always whining and crying to the refs I'm just like bro just, just go play basketball bro you're, you're a beast you're going to score 30-40 anyway you don't need 30 free throws a game but whatever I digress that being said into these matches I actually missed Calm today um, I wanted to play but I just overslept and just forgot like Calm had already started I, I woke up an hour after it started so it is what it is our first opponent was actually a player by the way named Mighty Yahiko running a team of Gogeta hit and beer so as you can see i entered using my base vegeta trunks and 21 team uh for bums tournaments he has uh, indefinitely banned lab coat 21 which is i mean it's not that big of a deal like i said i don't feel as though lab coat 21 is a character who should be banned a lot of people feel very strongly one way or the other i'm mostly indifferent though like if it's up to me i wouldn't ban her but at the same time i'm not upset and i don't really care that she is banned i just play base vegeta 21 uh majin 21 that is um and you know i just, I just get the job done that way uh, plus, I, re I really love this team, you know? Uh, that being said, though, I will be playing Lab Coat 21 for Combo Breaker, which I will be at uh, this this time, ne not this time next week, but next week, I believe, is when it starts, right? Yeah, we're, today's, what, the 18th? Combo Breaker starts on the 27th, which is the weekend. Today is, what, Wednesday? Yeah, so, yeah, Combo, combo Breaker coming soon. I'll, I'll be taking off on the 26th. I'll be back on the 30th. I'll be there for the entire event. Uh, we'll see how good I do. I admittedly have not been practicing anywhere near as hard as I originally wanted to uh, for the event. Um, but I'm just going there to have fun more than anything else. Just enjoy the event, hang out with people, have a good time, record a dope vlog. And uh, however far I make it is however far I make it. Um, I will be playing Lab Coat, like I said, uh, for that event. I'll be playing Lab Coat, Majin, and Trunks. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, we take the first game over Mighty Yahiko, who I believe is actually a viewer. He's one of those guys who told me that he'd like to fight me again at some point because he was, he was pretty nervous uh, when he got matched up against me in the first match of the tournament. And also, this match was played on stream, uh, on Bum stream, because, you know, oftentimes they, 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 they put almost... Anytime I'm in the winner's side of the bracket, they usually put all of my matches on stream because obviously a lot of the viewers request it and, you know, I, I am a well-known name in the community, I guess, so it, it, it brings attention or whatever, um, which is fine by me. Uh, the only thing I don't like about it, it's, it's really not a big deal, but the only con to it is that sometimes it makes it that I have to wait longer in between games. Um, but for the most part, it's, it's whatever, because I'll usually just like edit a video or I'll watch something or whatever in between games um, if, if it takes a bit. That being said, though, starting the second game here, I messed up my cross up, but it's fine. Um, but yeah, he was actually playing pretty decent, I would say, for the most part, but I just, I just played a little bit better. So uh, no punish on the vanish there. Get caught slipping by the beer assist. That beer assist is actually really good. He's playing hit C assist, but he's actually doing a decent job of like not letting it completely dictate uh, what I do and um, you know running into it face first. Get the hit here, change into 21. I really didn't have to do that. I could have just, but it's fine. I, did, I really didn't have to change like that. Um, I'm trying to because I could have just done the other ones anyway, but I, I was able to retain my like team position 
uh, or really just bring Bitsby to back in on point, which is fine, because he's got plenty of health right now. I got some meter to work with. I got both my assists. So, I actually don't mind this matchup. Blocked it too well from hits. Um, and yeah, you know, you'll, you'll notice some points where I was like crouch blocking hit, but I didn't end up getting hit by any two L's from my recollection, because uh, I'd always stand up. I was like, wait, it's hit. I don't even really have to block low. Did get custom with the command grab though. He goes immediately into super. Doesn't go, doesn't opt for like an assist call or vanish or anything. Just goes straight into the super. Put my spark in here. I wanted to get Vegeta out, and I successfully did that. Got the the tag off the hit stun, and then Z changed or like special changed into uh, trunks, and then brought in 21 for the level three. Get the Yoki, get the steals. He's got sparking, so I'm assuming he's gonna pop the sparking, but he didn't. Um, I, I went for the teleport anyway, and he just jumped out of it, and I get caught by an EX kick. Goes for the sliding knockdown with hit as opposed to the meaty 26 ll and yeah he gets caught by vegeta but i didn't confirm that in time pop the sparking now avoid the tides of time ooh, ooh, and i get hit by another ex kick that's that's my fault for being a little bit too impatient goes for a bit of a little reset there but i don't really end up falling for it and uh you know you'll notice that i didn't really get, uh, get hit by the counter a whole lot either with hit you know when i'm playing him i'm kind of always looking for those opportunities to use the counter was one of the reasons why I play the character and one of the reasons why it's most fun. But like, yeah, attack like that, like you're not supposed to let me get away with those. You play a hit, you got to counter those raw attacks and those super dashes. Uh, like I was saying, when I play the character, that's something I'm always looking out for, and I don't, I don't always do it, but like I'm always looking for it and always looking for those opportunities because for one, it's a, uh, it, it completely changes how your opponent has to play neutral because if they can't tag and super dash and you show them that they can't do it without you countering it and, and them dying for it or at least getting punished for it, um, it, it, it cuts off some of their most important and, and powerful options. And then also, it's just really fun. It looks really cool. It's just one of those things that's really satisfying to do. That being said, we take out the hit. He's down to an anchor. Beers with full health. He's got some bar on his side too, so I can definitely get caught slipping and he can make this comeback. Beers is a character who's capable of outputting a ton of damage. He can output his own plus frames. He's got not the best neutral, but like, I mean, you can see he's got that move right there, which I always feel like you can super dash and then I can't, you can't because it's a physical hit and then I get caught. And then it's a medium scale combo starter and he's in limit break, so he, already, he does even more damage than he usually does. Uh, but my guy is face smashing all over the place, just literally, <laughs> just literally play with his face. Uh, and and I, I mean that in the sense that like Beerus is kind of doing a little bit of that, not necessarily him just mashing, but that's whatever. Anyway, we get the hit, knock him down, Andrew 21 level 3, we get purple steals from Beerus. Do I want to go for the teleport? No, I do not. I go for the safe jump because he's got a DP and he ends up getting hit for some reason. I kind of delayed the button a tiny bit, but not necessarily. And we end up taking the set 2 0 over Mighty Yahiko, who apparently is also streaming because he's got TTB in his hand. So, I don't know, maybe he's got a, a Twitch channel that you guys can check out. Having said, we take the first set and we proceed on into uh, the winner's bracket into the next round. Worth noting, by the way, in this tournament, there was over 120 players, I believe, who entered. Maybe it was a 130, 140, I don't remember the exact number, but I believe there was well over 120 players. Uh, so it's a pretty stacked event. And not only that, there was a lot of money on the line as well, because as you guys know, or as you, you might not know, but as a lot of you probably know, uh, entry to these tournaments is free. However, um, that means that there's not money that's just automatically added to the prize pool. Now, what Bum does as a tournament organizer is that he uses Matcharino, which is uh, a website that basically allows people to crowdfund uh, the prize pool. So uh, people are allowed to just donate money that they want uh, to the pool that goes to the players. Um, but also, there's like a bunch of different little things you can do for free that add money to the pool, like follow this account and it adds this amount of money, or download this app and it adds this amount of money to the Matcharino, or if, or if you buy something from like their merchandise, uh, it adds money to the to the prize pool, so on and so forth. Um, and sometimes Bun will do incentives on his own stream, like, hey, if we get this many subs, I'll add this amount of money to, to, to the prize pool. Or if, 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 if y'all add this much money to it, then, then, then I'll match you, you know what I mean? Something like that is like, oh, if we get to this many subs, I'll drop $50, I'll add $100, or if we get this to $250, i will i will add this or I'll add that. Anyway, so with, with that being said, I, I want to say that it was over $1,200, maybe closer to $1,300 or more in the prize pool, which meant that you know, it was a pretty little penny on the line. So, to see how far I made it into the bracket and if I got a piece of the pie at the end of all this. And so, in our next match, we were up against Jade Tyrant, who was running a team of Kefla, UI Goku, and Z Broly, which struck me as a very mash heavy, do what I want, when I want, ignore frame data kind of team where you kind of just get away with doing a lot of wild things. Kefla's one of those characters who's a, uh, I feel like she's not super popular, super common, but, but whenever I do run into a Kefla player, I feel like they're typically pretty wild and reckless players. 
Uh, and also he plays UI Goog and Z Broly. So you already know, I'm stereotyping him off of rip. As soon as I see the scene, I'm like, oh, I know this nigga not blocking. I know I'm gonna see some auto combos flying. I'm gonna get mashed on some plus from when I'm plus and somehow get counter hit. Uh, but it's fine. We didn't find the hit right away at the start, <laughs> then resetting them with the 6M and uh, getting Kefla to the corner. So we're off to a pretty decent start here. The Oki, Bop, Key Blast, doesn't fall for the 5H. Super Dash, that's fine. I dump forward and I get the double Sunday on Kefla and UI Goku, but I dropped the loops. That could have been huge because that could have been the kill on not only Kefla, but also a lot of blue life uh, on UI Goku who would have come in and then immediately lost that life. We end up finally hit on Kefla again and make contact with the Super Dash, not going to into the 21 says basic combo into level one and take out the Kefla. We get a small little chunk off of UI Goku, but it could have been so much better than that. Um, ooh, 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 ooh. Patience. And I get caught with the command grab. <laughs> the patience betrayed me in the end. Uh, but it's fine. So he's left with UI Goku and Z Broly. Um, I, I, you know, I always default to he. But obviously, some of the people that I play, like I, I mean, I, I think that's pretty common though. I, I, I think that's pretty common. I don't think that's disrespectful anyway. I, I think everybody defaults to their random opponent as he, unless stated or known otherwise. I don't know why that just dawned on me just now that this person could potentially be a woman. It's, it's not like there's anything that really indicates that. But I just, I, I don't know. It just came to mind, so I felt like I'd, I'd mention it. I guess. Is this awkward? Do you feel awkward? Is, is it weird if I make con eye contact him? Anyway, we find the hit on the UI Goku after they break their or use their sparking. We have our trunks assist and we have the blue steels. I don't really want to use them though, so I'm just gonna use the trunks assist for the sliding knockdown because we're not gonna really get the kill either if, if we spin it anyway. I find the hit with the JH, but I didn't manage to get the regen, but we find the hit again anyway. And uh, yeah, my guy's not really able to put up much of a fight right now. He's left with uh, anchor, limit break, sparking Z Broly with six and a half bars. But uh, I'd be honest, I, I wasn't really concerned. I did spark there, which was honestly not that great, but I think I was just doing it just to keep the momentum that I had going. Went for the re -jump there, actually managed to pull it off. I've actually gotten a bit more consistent with that re -jump. I feel like I've actually been consistently doing it more often than not when I attempt it. Um, which is funny, because like, I, I, don't, I don't know, something just clicked, I guess, after just so many repetitions um, of it. Same side low, and down goes Z Broly. Super simple combo, bum bum bum, dive, level one. And that will be the end of Z Broly, and we take game number one very convincingly over Jade Tyrant. So I was feeling pretty good. We we won our first match 2-0. We won our third game or our second game, and we second match, and we won the first game. So it's three games straight for me against a team that I thought was going to give me a bit of trouble. Because like I said, I see a team like this, I'm I'm immediately judging you. I do judge people by their teams all the time. You guys know that already. Uh, <laughs> I, I I feel, but the thing is, like obviously, it's not the perfect indicator. Ooh, it's nice. Am I nice like that? No, I'm not. I drop the loops. Um, ooh, the UI Goku Ace is super dash for the confirm though, so not that great, but Kefla is one of those rare characters who actually can jump cancel off of a J2H smash like that. UI Goku can do it as well, and I believe they're the only two characters in the game who can do it straight like that. Um, obviously there's some weird scenarios with characters like, I don't know, like Adult Gohan and Team Gohan, I think Kid Buu who have like some weird auto combo shit or whatever like that in the corner. But yeah, and also I'm just like running into shit, I, I was trying to be impatient and like get my momentum back, I'm just running into mediums and hits and stuff left and right. It's fine. Gets Kefla out. UI Goku in. I reflect on wake up. Get caught by the command grab. And yeah, this is this is a, the complete opposite of the last game where I had all the momentum and they couldn't really fight back. And now I ha and now they have all the momentum and I can't really fight back. Um, what was I gonna say though? There was a train of thought. I think I started at some point. Then I went off on a tangent and didn't bring it all the way back around like I usually do. Um. I don't know, I can't remember. Anyway though, we lose Android 21 and our sparking. We do get the hit on uh, Kefla because I went for the Dragon Rush, but I honestly should have punished that with a 5M or a 2M. Um, either one would have been much better, but we do get the hit, uh, toss him up. Level three, um, we could potentially kill the character here if we hit her, or we could bait the sparking. I go for a Dragon Rush again, because uh, they reflected a second time, and down goes Kefla. So we even things up a tiny little bit here. Um, we're still at the deficit because we have no sparking. and Vegeta has less health. Uh, sparking is such a valuable resource in this game, you guys know. Um, I, I value sparking very highly, as I imagine most of us do. But if I have three characters alive, my opponent only has one or two, but they have sparking, I still don't feel um, as if the, the match is won yet. I say that even though I felt pretty confident in the last game, but I think I also either had sparking, so that's, that's another thing. If, if I have three characters and no spark and my opponent has one character but spark, I'm like, okay, this is still very winnable for them. And I say that as somebody who, wow, that was such a random ass 2H, but UI Goku is as UI Goku does. Um, as somebody who has made 
many, 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 many comebacks uh, in my playtime in this game. Uh, 1v3 if I had Sparking, and with Trunks of all characters, who's not a very powerful character in this game. Um, in Sparking, he obviously is capable of doing a lot more, but I mean, most characters are a lot more uh, powerful and fearsome in Sparking in this game. Not only just because of the damage buff, but also just like Dampy Vanishes, and certain characters just get better combos and cancels, and in Trunks' case, even mix-ups. He's not the only character, though. Um, there's a lot of characters who get better mix um, from their uh, from their strength when they're in Sparking. Uh, frankly, I, I think there's more characters who do than don't if there are any who don't. Characters like Yamcha, Vegito, uh, Kefla, Team Gohan, Trunks, obviously. Uh, just Yeah, everybody gets some, some crazy shit in Sparking. I mean, said though, Trunks is putting in their work right now. Hold up. We're not going to be able to kill here, but we are going to be able to do another level 3. Uh, potentially put them in a situation where they are going to get hit. So I'm spending level 3 for the hard knockdown here. Uh, one more touch and then probably goes down for the count. I have multiple options to go for here, but I end up opting for the meaty change of future, counter to vanish the vanish, and he down goes the Broly. So we even things up. We're working on this comeback. We got off to a bit of a sloppy start. I was trying not to block. Uh, I was doing what I expected my opponent to do, um, but it's fine. Oh, I finally jumped medium, but I didn't J2H in time, and the EX flip was nasty. But am I gonna build enough bar here in order to kill? Can I do enough damage to level one? Please, will it be enough? Trunks, don't be ass and Trunks is ass. It's fine. Jump the beam, vibe check. Block the beam. Went for the 2L. I was like, come on, I just need to mass somewhere. Find find one random stray hit. He's got a pixel. We just gotta bring this one home. Come on. Keep me. Come on. Oh, I remember the point I was going to make. I, I remember the train of thought I started and trailed off on. And then the random vanish mash there. That was such a random vanish, but it was one of those things where it's just like, yeah, I'm just mashing, just trying to get this last hit. And he got it before I could. UI Goku is as UI Goku does. I kind of threw that one away, though, especially at the start. I was just I was playing with my face. But um, I, ju I definitely judge people by their uh, by their teams. And most of the time I'm right, so I don't feel bad about it. Typically, you guys remember, we used to have an ongoing meme on this channel that wasn't really a meme because it was true, where it was like, long before Blue Gogeta and Vegeta were top tier and they just had all these stupid tools that they have, um, I was like, if they're, if they're, if their main character has blue hair, they don't block. You know what I'm saying? If their main character has blue hair, they don't block. And, um, it's still kind of true, but, uh, that was, that was like an ongoing thing on the channel for a while. But, um, you know, in general, I feel like when I, when I see certain characters, I'm like, oh, they must play like this. And they usually do. They usually do. Oh, hold that rocket kick. I'm going to bring Kefla back in because I want her off the table. This character doesn't necessarily scare me, but like I said, she can be very mashy. Also, she's got that 2-3-6-S thing that she does on Oki, you know, with the, the spinning keep. The thing she just did, that move, right? Um, and I hate dealing with that on Oki. And it, yeah, it's, it's, it's annoying. Uh, that being said, they don't have enough bar here for the kill. So this is fine. Knock down Vegeta. I should spark and then try to get Vegeta out of here. I go for the hell zone, so I'm gonna delay tech and then reflect spark and I end up getting hit anyway and I didn't get my rocket kick out of the corner. I got a jab on the ground instead and I got hit again, but again I don't think they're gonna be able to build the bar here because they're not gonna use the Broly assist for the extension, then instead gonna special tag into Broly and spend the bar on the vanish. Now you don't have the second bar you need in order to get the kill here. They get the sliding knockdown. That's fine. But then they end up spending the level one, which I guess they have the Broly Oki, and I got hit by the key blast, but Hold that 5H, reflect 5H, boom, Trunks assist. Get a uh, special attack here in 21, of course. Boom, dive, level 3. Big damage on the Broly, potential mix up situation. They have sparking, so if I were betting man, I would assume that they're going to spend it. So, with that being said, uh, yeah, I just blocked. Managed to get the super dash off of UI Goku. Surprisingly, did not get counter hit by the auto combo there. Uh, auto combo has caught me in so many random situations with. Uh, uh, with that like low crushing second hit of the 5LL and the wake up counter super, which I believe is frame one. Sometimes I forget about that move. It doesn't come up often, but when it does, it usually catches me off guard. Uh, that being said, I, <laughs> I super dash face first into an eraser blow and we lose. And actually, yeah, we end up losing Android 21 with a ton of blue life. I couldn't remember for sure if she died or not. But that was actually a surprisingly good optimization for them in order to get the corner carry and build the bar. And then actually get the sudden knockdown in order to spend that bar to take out the Android 21. But up, base Vegeta and Trunks patience here to like Goku don't get caught slipping. <laughs> Psych, just kidding, I'm gonna guard cancel. I uh, get caught by the 20 or the 21 assist, but I'm kinda the Kefla assist. Um 
But no conversion from him, I find hit on the UI Goku, spend a little bit of meter here, and then down goes the UI Goku, and I gotta bring Base Vegeta back in, which is not the best, uh, cause he has so little health in one touch and he dies, but that's fine because I, I like having the Trunks assist behind me, and I like my odds of being able to win 2v1 with Trunks against Broly and Kefla, not because I think Broly is a particularly good matchup for either of those characters, uh, but just because Trunks has a lot of health and obviously he's my pride and joy character. Um, Catching me all the time, Tatsu, Tatsunical. I actually just made a tweet about that. It's like how it's like the the deadliest mix in the game. Not not really right, but like two H into low lariat catches me every time. The fact that she can do that has, has always been crazy to me. And yeah, auto combos flying everywhere, whiffing mediums. That's what I mean with, with these capital players, man. They're they're wily. You gotta you gotta watch out for them. You can't trust them as far as you can throw them. They're dangerous, man. Black Air Force activity. And matter of fact, she's wearing the all black outfit. Y'all. Yeah. Anyway, I actually like those colors a lot for Kefla though. Big flip, cracks his dome piece. Do, 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 do. That was hoping that they would jump. That was a random 2 H there. Five check. Shining slash whiff right in front of him. That's okay, I didn't get punished. Super dash, and we end up taking the third game and winning the set 2 1 over Jade Tyrant. And we proceed on to the winner's brackets. So how much further did I make it in my City Mayhem run? I guess only time will tell. You have to stay tuned for the next part. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Hit this video with a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. So you can stay tuned for all this content I plan on bringing you. With all of you being said, this is Prince Ramps today. Remember, nothing can happen to you swing the butt. Later.